All right, let's check this out. The New York Times says Fed sending tactical team to Seattle, expanding presence beyond Portland. After outrage over the presence of federal agents in Portland, Oregon, the Trump administration is sending a team to Seattle. Officials say they will be on standby. I, I bet this means a whole lot of nothing will happen. Yep. All right. They say the special response team being deployed is similar to the tactical teams currently operating in Portland, Oregon, where local officials have been vehemently objected to their efforts to subdue street protests. Come on, man. Let's stop playing these games. Yep. Protests? Hmm. They declared it a riot yesterday. The, the Portland police said it was a riot. Can Even you please Portland. just call it a riot? Who gets to decide that? Whatever. Seattle officials have also said they do not want federal agents sent to target protesters. Okay, that's no, I, I agree. I, I would not want federal agents to target protesters either. Agreed. Yeah. If you're out there protesting, you have my 100% support. I think we all agree. Absolutely. Now, if you're rioting, send in the feds. Agents from the SRT operated under the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency are typically deployed for intense law enforcement operations, similar to the agency's BORTAC group that has operated in Portland. The CBP team will be on standby in the area should they be required, the FP, the Federal Protective Service said in a statement about this, uh, the Seattle effort. A spokesperson for the agency requested anonymity to speak about the operation, said the border officers were sent back up to uh, sent, sent to back up the FPS charged with protecting federal buildings and would only be used if protests expected this weekend escalate out of control. And they will. Yeah. Seattle's Mayor Jenny Durkin said in an interview that she spoke earlier with Chad Wolf, the acting secretary of Homeland Security. She said he had assured her that the administration had no plans to deploy a surge of agents to Seattle and would not do so without communicating to the city with the city. She had not been alerted to plans to position the tactical team, but said that the department may be distinguishing between an active deployment and agents who are on standby. Now, why do you think they're going to be sending uh, uh, this special response team up to Seattle? Oh, because the powers that, that are in control over there are very quickly losing control. They're doing nothing. That's also same, true. Same, same as like what we're seeing in Portland. But, but hold on, hold on. It's not so simple to say that. No. At least I don't think so. Okay. Take a look at this story from the Washington Post. Twelve officers injured. Two protesters arrested in Seattle as multiple businesses vandalized. Whoa, 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 whoa. So wait, they were they were protesting while vandalizing and destroying businesses? Well, they're rioting, but hold on, hold on a minute. You mean to tell me that in Seattle right now, these these violent thugs are going around destroying private property? I will not stand for this. Certainly, that must be the reason that Trump is now sending in the, the special response team. No, that's not it either. You want to know? You want to see what it is? Oh, please, please tell I'll me. show you what it is, because this is from yesterday. Mm. <laughs> Seattle City Council president addresses protests targeting council members' houses. Okay, I'm kidding. I don't think Trump is actually sending in federal agents because the protesters are showing up to po politicians' homes. But I do think it's kind of hilarious that the CHAZ, the, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone in Seattle, can operate even with people literally being shot several times. Yeah. And the mayor is like, well, you know, hold on. It could be a summer of love. Bang, bang. Some people die. And then, well, hold on. Then they show up to the mayor's house. And then all of a sudden she's like, Rah! and she's demanding charges for the councilman that led the protesters to her house. Yeah. And then Chaz was purged with an iron fist. Yeah. They cleaned it up in an, under an hour. <laughs> yep. Actually, as soon it, as it was like, it was like 10 minutes. Everyone was gone. And then they spent the rest of the hour just like disassembling fences and stuff. She's like, the Mayor Jenny Durkin is like, got her hands behind her back in, in her like, uh, uh, her study with there's books all around her. And they're like, Mayor Durkin, they've shut up to your home. <laughs> You bite the hand that feeds you. Crush them. And then, like, she hits a button. <laughs> and then, like, a bunch of cops, like, run out of a, you know, out of a garage. Like, the door opens up. And then, they wipe that Chaz out. So Boom, fast. like that. So That's think about they were working together. It was all just a trap to blame no, Trump. No, no. Well, 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 I uh, mean, uh, she was letting it happen, in my opinion. I know she was. Because she wanted to be like, come on, Trump, take the bait. And he didn't mm. do it. Yep. So then when they showed up to her house, she was like, no. And she crushed them. The bait's starting to bite me. Think about how Stop easily, them. how easily she crushed the Chaz yep. as soon as they went to her house. Mm -hmm. She probably, I swear, she probably slammed her fist on the table, crush them. And then they did. Yep. Now, now look at what's happening in Seattle. This, uh, it's in the same city, obviously. But you have this, uh, uh, this woman, I don't know her name is, Sawant or whatever. She's on the city council and she's leading the protesters to the homes of other, I don't want to show the photo because it'll, it, it's like they vandalized the door. They, they, they wrote, you know, swears and stuff saying oh, okay. like, get the F out and stuff like that. 
you know, it, it's graffiti on this, on these people's home. Yeah. And I guess their addresses are private, but they were led there by this councilwoman. And so you also have in Oakland, they actually showed up to the mayor's house and totally vandalized it, firing, launching fireworks at it. So sure enough, these people are desperately crossing their fingers that Trump will, you know, send in law enforcement because they want to make them look bad. I think Trump's winning. I think so, too. I think so. Uh, yep. we, we actually actually I'm, I'm just going to show this right now. I'm going to show this right now. So check this out. This is Civ IQs and it is a of registered voters. Black Lives Matter. Do you support or oppose the Black Lives Matter movement? And opposition to Black Lives Matter has been spiking since the start of the riots. And people who consider themselves neither in support of or opposition to has gone down dramatically. What does that mean? Fence sitters have gotten off the fence and joined the opposition. Yeah. The interesting thing about it as to why I think Trump is winning is this metric right here. Race. Check this out. Among white people, it is now inverted. For a minute, white people actually supported Black Lives Matter, sub uh, substantial support. Since the riots, it's flipped in favor of uh, the opposition. Well, because it's becoming more and more apparent that it's not about Black Lives Matter. It's about the whatever narrative that they're pushing because, you know, people are seeing that there's black lives that don't matter to them and black lives, only specific black lives matter to them. And that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because you're not going to you're not going to see them cheering for Jesse Lee Peterson or Candace Owens or right. Hodge twins or Terrence Williams. No, no, no. They're, they're the wrong thinkers. So well, they don't and count. it's like they're trying to convince us and, and Vince convince most people that they you don't you don't believe this. So I need to scream it at you for you to believe it. And it's like, wait, what are you talking about? Like, you know, of course we believe it. Of course we be, we think black lives matter. Duh. Yeah, you know, of course. You know, what I find funny that like proves it's not about race or even orientation or identity, is that you literally have trans Trump supporters and black Trump supporters and Latino Trump supporters. Yep, exactly. You have, you have you know, gays for Trump, you have uh, Latinos for Trump, you have blacks for Trump. They're, they're, the, the, the Republicans are really trying to, to you know, uh, build a coalition, a diverse coalition. Yeah. Not that they're as, as successful as Democrats, because Democrats, for whatever reason, just, you know, have historically controlled votes in certain areas. That's why Kanye West comes out and says like, yeah. you know, I, I think it has a lot to do with social pressure, thinking that they're guaranteed. And now Joe Biden comes out. You know, the thing about what Joe Biden said when he was like, if you if you don't know who you're for, you know, you ain't black. I think he thought, you know, look, in 2012, that would have played. That would have worked. They would have all laughed and be like, you're right, Joe Biden. But he doesn't understand that today that no way, man. Like no, there, there's a ridiculous. lot, there's a lot of support for Trump in the African American community. Charlemagne just came out against him today. I, I didn't read an article, but I, I saw it in passing, and I was like, oh wow! Like he started snapping on Biden. I want to get into Good. To what he was saying, but so, so anyway, Donald Trump is deploying these law enforcement officers around the country. Yeah, and you know, you know, we should have pulled up the uh, the Cato Institute thing we did the other day. Oh yeah, but this uh, this poll from the Cato Institute shows. There is only one political alignment in this country that is comfortable expressing their opinions, and it's the far left. Yep. They, they say strong liberal, so we'll say strong liberal. Among strong conservative, conservative, moderates, and liberals, they are all scared to say their opinions. All of them. That's because they're all voting for Trump. Or, or they're critical of Black Lives Matter. Yeah. So, so why is Donald Trump deploying law enforcement? Even though the media is screaming Trump is a is a Cheeto dictator, it's because one faction of people speaking up does not represent the entirety of the country. Exactly. And so if liberals are scared to speak up, he's probably going to grab a decent amount of liberals who are going to be like, please just shut it down. Moderates, absolutely. And conservatives, oh, con conservatives, of course. They love Trump. Yeah. So you take a look. I brought this up earlier. You take a look at what happened in Chicago in June, uh, was it, I think June 8th mm -hmm. with all the rioting. So you look at this and you can see that when once the rioting started, opposition started skyrocketing among yeah. white people. And then I remembered that article where uh, it was a leaked recording where an alderman in Chicago, it's like a neighborhood mayor, essentially, talked to the actual mayor of Chicago and was cussing her out, saying like, they're coming. The riots are coming to our neighborhood. Stop them. Stop them. And now the craziest thing is that you literally have the neighborhoods begging to stop the rioting. Yep. And the mayor says no, and Trump said yes. Trump knows who he's supporting. Yep. He knows who he's targeting. Yeah, the American people. That's who he's supporting. He's supporting residential neighborhoods, not the business interests, not the downtown areas, and not the one faction of people who think they're allowed to speak. Or the establishment uh, 
governmental, you know, circles, which could be Democrats and Republicans. No one's, you know, everyone, everyone could be in that circle, you know, and he's just saying, no, we got to we got to protect the American public. That's why it's, Operation it's, Legend was so I was just like, yes, because he wasn't talking about who's to blame. He was just talking about protecting the American people that are getting hurt by all this right now. I think they I think they made a big mistake. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button or check us out on iTunes and Spotify. And we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all in the next episode.